Hello everyone, welcome to the GG League's Elite Overwatch Division B. This is going to be the matchup between UW Whitewater Warhawks, JV versus AC Badgers. I'm here with two try hard, Ray. I'm Joker's Ransom. Ray, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. First matchup between these teams. This is well, first matchup in general this season. I'm excited to kick off this season and just great, some great Overwatch here. I'm super excited to start this season off with a bang. This is the winter season. And it's going to be pretty epic, pretty sick. And I'm really excited to be casting this game tonight. We're going to be starting off tonight on a control map. And it's going to be Ilios. Ilios is uh, like all types of control maps can bode its well to uh, a lot of different compositions. Ray, what do you expect to see from these different teams, these teams to start off on uh, Ilios? I think Ilios probably has the most like wide ranging compositions you can get depending on what sub map you get. So if you get like Lighthouse, for example, you, we've seen like an Owl League, the Ball Diva setup, but I've also seen, you know, where you run Symmetra May and you teleport straight to point and you just hold point. Uh, you know, dive like you know, Ball Diva. You can also run a Winston Diva dive it's not, variant. It's not Elios. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, people. This I'm I'm I have mis been mistaken. This is, we're gonna starting out on Lijung Tower. I was given false information. We're starting out on Lijung Tower again. Another map that <laughs> can be uh, a lot of different types of compositions here, right? Yet again, like Ilios. Yeah, so we'll start out on going around on Night Market. So Night Market, you know, you, we've seen the Bald Divas with the Pharaohs on that map. But again, there's also the Symmetra compositions where you teleport through the window and you play more of a Brawly comp on point. Um, those are the two main comps you tend to see on that one. And then if you shift your focus to Gardens, Gardens tends to be a really divey map with Ball Diva, Winston Diva, and you have a Pharah floating around the high grounds all over the garden. And then uh, go into uh, Control Center. That tends to be a brawly map as well. Reinhardt, D.Va, uh, Junkrats, you'll see Symmetra's. It's really just really condensed in the server room and on point, and you just want to brawl out on that map. Well, before we head into Li Zhong Tower, we do have these rosters available for you. AC Badger specifically, look at that. We got Carter Sky on that main tank. Vibes on the off tank. Gabe and Dollstone on the DPS and Maja and Caesar PhD on the supports there for the side of AC Badger. Looking really good. Looking really fine. Look out for Gabe specifically on that DPS role. Going to be hopefully pop off for this team and uh, able to hard carry for that squad. And then we got a, uh, UW Whitewater and they got Hostile, Cinder Slime, Javier, Griffin, Twin, and Pallid. Yeah, for sure. this season, you know, both teams, you know, show who they are, you know, might be able to see some unexpected standout players because go at it like this. So, you know, like you said, uh, you know, there was a Team they're bringing in coming season. Oh, I have no idea what you said, Ray, because you were kind of a robot there. But I believe we're about to head straight into the game as soon as possible to start things off on Li Zhang Tower to see. Well, I'm sorry. We're, we're still waiting for a uh, ready up from one of the teams. And like you were saying, Li Zhang Tower, very good, very good. Um, a very good starting point depending on where we start is where um really where we can see how things begin like you were saying uh especially like night market very uh brawl centric can be as well as court control center um look for a lot of symmetra play most likely uh especially on those two maps because just getting to that point first is just so crucial yeah, for sure. And you can even make it work on gardens too. You just tend to see they're controlling the skies being a big deal because she can, you know, hang around the outside. And even if you stay on point, she can blast her rockets into the window. So she has a lot of control on the gardens. But, you know, like you said, probably a lot of Symmetra, maze and junks that 
sort that to go with Brawl on this map. Yeah, uh, as well as probably some Tracer being played here. Tracer very, very viable on these two. Um, all these sub maps of Lijong Tower um, is just for that, that that flank ability of the Tracer that is just so well out and getting able to, um, you know... Uh, catch out the flex supports most likely that's what you're going to be looking for for that tracer if you're going to be running in and i believe now we're heading straight into Li Zhang tower to start things off for the gg elite overwatch league for the winter season And it looks like we're starting off on Night Market here. So expect real Brawly comp. You can make the Ball Diva work, but in general, you tend to see teams running Brawl comps. Um, but we will find out definitely what they're going to be running here in the next three seconds. Definitely. And it looks like right now we're seeing some Brawl. Yeah, interesting. Um, I'm not sure if Whitewater is going to stick with this, but uh, they have the Zarya, which is interesting. You know, you tend to, especially in today's meta, tend to favor the D.Va because she can just eat so much damage. You're just going to really rely on Zarya getting her charged very fast, just unleashing loads amount of damage because D.Va can't eat Zarya's uh, primary or secondary or primary fire. And it does look like we're going to be running with the Zarya and everything starting off the GG leagues. Winter season is underway, and they're going to be teleporting straight to point to get things underway. The charge coming out from both of the Reinhardts. Not going to be doing anything yet at the moment. It's Twin getting a 2k to start things off, but it's going to be Twin Bad. You see Badger's got two of their own, but White with, or Whitewater Warhawks have got all this damage going for us. It's the Team Kill Gong sounds, and it starts off immediately going to the favor of the Warhawks. Yeah, that was an incredible first fight. Unfortunately for AC Badgers, Katir Sky on the Doom just fell off the map. And really just, it, it was just unfortunate for the team. But shout out to Twin, got two huge picks at the beginning of that fight. And they're going to be trying to teleport right back, but Javier is taking out Caesar, which is a huge pick. Cardio just got the, the the Sumatra out of this fight, but it's still looking good for the Warhawks. They've got another pick. They've taken out Vibes, and they're going to continue to push forward. Twins getting another pick in this fight, and they're going to be able to hold on yet again. Yeah, Twins is doing a nice job. He knows when to play safe and hold back and knows when to engage really well. Some crucial things to be good at on Reinhardt. And he's just really showing out here as we're going to be looking for a shatter in this fight from him. So look out for that big play coming up. Right now, Ray, they've, got a, they've changed up this composition. Oh, yeah, they have. Looks like they're electing to go with the six. Hog. It's going to be more of a pick style play with the Cassidy. Very interesting. I guess they realize they're not going to win the brawl fight here. Is the Doomfist ults in? Let's see how this goes off. The Symmetra ult coming out. Photon Barrier is on the field. The Adder connects to Magia on Ooh. the Ana. And that is going to be opening things up yet again for UV Warhawks. But Cardio Sky still alive with the Doomfist getting two of their own. And here comes the. Uh, the copy from Griffin onto the Doomfist of their own as Twin Sanity getting another 2k in this fight as there it goes yet again UW Warhawks still in the favor getting all these picks to keep going forward yeah, it looked like uh, Cardio Sky was coming in there and doing a real good job getting picks on the Doomfist like you're supposed to. But then Griffin dupes him, gets all his ult charge off of the uh, the Roadhog, and then was able to ult the Roadhog. These guys still looking to get things done. They've got two yet again. It's the Roadhog coming through. Looking good for AC Badgers now. They've got three picks in their favor. It's at 99%. But all this damage coming out from the Warhawks is going to be able to keep it into the favor of Team Red as the objective is secured for Whitewater Warhawks. And that's the first objective for the winter season going to the favor. Yeah, I mean, incredible just teamwork from 
Whitewater, the twins on the Reinhardt is killing it, but his supports are doing a really good job of enabling him and keeping him up with lots of heals. And Griffin really showed up on the Echo on that fight, and Echo's only going to do better on this map as we see Cartier Sky stop into the Echo as well for this map. And it looks like both teams are, well, we got a double bubble from the Whitewater Warhawks, and we got a regular dive with Winston from the Badgers. So again, it's going to come down to that Zarya getting up her charge and putting out damage. Very interested about Cartier Sky on this Widowmaker right now. Very interesting decision to be locking the Widow, especially on a map specifically like uh, uh, Gardens. And we'll see how it works out. Gabe has already taken out Twin Sanity. It's a big pick. No longer there is the Winston for the side of Whitewater Warlock. They gotta be more careful. Cardio Sky taking out Ooh. Javi with a nice headshot coming through as well. AC Badger looking very strong with this composition. They've taken down all and they, they need. This is just the echo left from Whitewater, and they're gonna go back and wait to respawn. Yeah, I mean, AD Badgers are coming in hot on this dive composition and looking really good. I think this is really showing you the difference between the double bubble composition and the dive composition. The dive composition is how much, so much flexibility with the Diva being able to dive in with the Winston and just eat massive amounts of damage, while Zarya only has a bubble that she can give him, and then once that's gone, that's it. The Winston's just there for dead. There goes the engage yet again. The self-destruct coming in from over the top from Gabe. Gonna be taking out Hostile as well. It's a huge pick. So much healing gone for the side of White Water. They're not gonna be able to push in as they're gonna be regrouping and waiting for those re uh for, for those respawns. No one Yeah, that was a nicely timed Diva bomb there from Gabe as we popped the widow sights. He really read when they were mid-rotation, was able to throw the bomb over the head and catch the on a mid-rotation. And once the on is out, there goes your main heals. You don't have nano, you can give your Winston. You can't keep your Winston up, and you just gotta back out at that point. Oh, Right now, it's looking really good for the side of AC Badgers after a shaky first start of the map. There comes the engagement coming through the, uh, the nail onto Twin Sanity. Not going to be able to find anything right now. There goes the Primal Rage out from them as well. As that copy onto the D.Va from Griffin is there. As it's still not looking like they've got anything. As the, they do find Magia off the side of the map, but it's going to be traded out immediately onto Mad on the Zarya's game. Looking super good on the uh, Diva play as the side of AC Badgers continue to push forward, keeping getting these picks into their favor as they're going to continue to control at this point. Wow, that was incredible there from Gabe. It looked like things were pretty bad there in comes gabe helps eat damage from the winston so he doesn't die and able to get two crucial picks gabe is showing a clinic on diva right now magia gonna take out mad on that zarya it's all blue in the kill feed right now it's just waiting to get that overtime bar to tick down and ac badger is gonna be able to tie up this series one to one going into the third round of lee jung tower yeah, I mean, that was just incredible work there from the Badgers. They seem to just be experts on this dive composition here. White Water just didn't know what to do. I don't know if uh, the Zarya player just doesn't know how to play D.Va because the D.Va variation of this is just so much more powerful, as you can see from what the Badgers were able to do. Here. And coming into, uh, you know, control center here, it's going to favor the dive compositions, and Whitewater dominated on that first map when it came to Brawl. But it looks like the Badgers... Are, okay, yeah, they're gonna swap. The, they're gonna swap the brawl here. So yeah, it's gonna be a brawl on brawl fight here. Oh, uh, yep. yeah, it's gonna be still brawl on brawl, but still, AC Badgers opting for the diva variation of the composition. We'll see how this goes forward. It's a nice flash coming through, but Cardio Sky takes out Powered early on, and they're going to continue to push him forward in this. They've already got that Lucio out of this fight, and Hostile is gone as well. As Vibe's finding so much damage with his Junkrat, going to be able to win this fight out immediately. You know what? 
thing I'm interesting already seeing already is Gabe is playing the Reinhardt when he played the Diva on the last map. So very interesting. Maybe uh, you know Reinhardt little switch route here. Dallas Stones on the Diva um, might be the recipe that they needed. Yeah, this is still looking good for the side of AC Badgers. Going to continue. Whitewater and have to wait for their respawns at the moment here, Ray. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Symmetra in this composition that Whitewater started on, it's really good for the first fight because you get there first, you have an advantage as the window's going to get popped. Oh, and a double fire strike from Gabe! A massive shadow as well coming out from Gabe as the side of AC Badgers continue to hold on to this is the team kill gong sounds. This is going to get it up to 40% on the board. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, Symmetra has a big advantage first fight, but now that you know, you're having trouble getting through, it's going to be really tough to get value out of your Symmetra as we're looking at Junkrat tire here. Well, here comes out Vibes looking for all this damage. They don't even really see them right now. They're just going to keep pumping in damage from the uh, from the back from Vibes here. They're not they're just going to be waiting out. They can't really do anything at the moment as all this damage coming in. The that eye coming through. Not going to find anyone as well as the Junkrat Riptire. Not going to find anyone. It's going to be really tied up right now, but there goes Dallas Stone finding out mad at the moment and there goes AC Badgers yet again getting all the picks necessary as Magia finding a 2K there. Yeah, that that was crazy because they used uh, Cassidy ult and they used uh, they used Junkrat ult there. They didn't get much out of it because they were able to destroy the immortality field in time, but they were still able to make up for that. And it's looking good for this final fight as White Walls have the to manage here. Now they're gonna be pushing forward. Twin needs to get a shatter, but Gabe shatters Ooh. him into the face, drops him down. This Rotor fights three. Oh my goodness! There, is, that could have changed everything for the side of White Water, but no. Vibes is still alive. Finds two of their own. Javier is there. Does find Vibes, but it's still not looking good. Javier, however, find another pick on the Dallas Stone. It's just the Tracer duel left on point for the side of UV or UW Warhawks. They don't find a pick with this Earth Shatter. The respawns are coming back from both sides. They need to find something. Cardio Sky takes down Hostile, looking for another pick. They take down the Reinhardt. This could be all they need for AC Badgers to win this out. The Rip Tire coming out from Vibes, trying to find the last couple of people. They do take down Mad, and this should be the end as Magia finds two. As AC Badgers take the round one on Li Zhang Tower. Yeah, that was an incredible first round we already had came down to the wire. Badgers had the tank, you know, as we're gonna see this gay play Reinhardt. They swapped off their main tank, said Gabe, you're playing Ryan this round. And it's really paying it really paid off for them with this double fire strike with the shatter. Incredible. <laughs> Very good stuff from Gabe on that Reinhardt so far start things off ac batters looking really strong especially gabe on that reinhardt look for him to continue um to, uh, to to show out and show up as well not even just that vibes and cartier sky were very strong on the dps role here right yeah i i agree and you know gabe wasn't just in the runner we saw in the the winston composition he just was destroying on the diva came in with some big plays some huge just damage eating on his winston really saved a lot of his fights timed his diva bombs well mid rotation so gabe's really shown himself to be a standout player so far but don't cardio sky is no slouch either he was really clutching it up there at the very end on that really just drawn out brawly fight with tracer on point Definitely. I don't think that w it definitely would have been swapped yeah. over if Cartier Sky could not get those couple of picks. Because especially after Griffin got that massive 3K tire, um, AC Badger still clutched it up, continued to look super strong, very well coordinated. And now we're heading to everyone's favorite map. It feels like King's Row is going to be the hybrid map of the evening here, Ray. <laughs> Grim's row, everyone loves it, everyone loves the It's no surprise that we're going here. We're probably gonna be in full on brawl, brawl on the map. Tends to be the main position. 
defensively, you know, you're playing, you know, your junk rats, your cats, your soldier, just holding hotel. And a lot of things I've seen as far as made getting played on the attack for the junk soldier as well, or well, uh, you, more visions to see on the offense. Well, you were lagging a bit, so I'll try to decipher what you were saying. Uh, yeah, he was saying that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of brawl here on this map, um, especially with what we were seeing on King's Row, specifically on Control Center there. Should be uh, should be really good. It should be really fun. We're going to be seeing the composition uh, in 10 seconds from both of these squads, but I am assuming we're going to be seeing both brawl compositions coming out. Def Gree most likely Ryan Ready, uh, to Ryan Zarya, but Ryan gave it up as we on the attack are going a Ryan Zarya and the badges is going to Ryan D. You remind me of someone. So yeah, so right now we're seeing out both teams are running Hanzo. This is an interesting decision. Still having that change of that deflecting the storm arrows can be a really good, uh, a good type of a, a very, very good tank buster from the side. Both of these teams, one team, however, going to be running Cardio Sky on the May, and Whitewater going to be running the Cassidy. Um, we'll be see uh, very interesting to see how these That's teams right. continue to run out as the uh, May wall coming out. Cardio Sky taking out Matt already. Huge pick for this squad, which uh, it was going to continue to push forward. They're going to have to wait out is Whitewater Warhawks. I mean, <laughs> you on the able to your team, you, you can't. Kind of pull back and just fight, and you know, challengers. That was that was very nice pick there. Gabe taking out Pallet is huge again. There goes a a big pick, and that is that the main source of uh, mobility gone for the side of Warhawk. They're gonna continue to push forward. That is a massive anti nade, and they've taken down Gabe. Warhawks can be able to push through this, and they're gonna be able to push it. They're gonna continue forward. Is a massive shadow coming out from Twin? That's gonna take down two of their own. There's another one going forward, and they're gonna be charging forward to get as much space as they possibly can. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you lost Reinhardt with the big anti, the hostile hit there, shout out to hostile for the big anti, just completely push, you get a free shatter, which uh, Twins was able to get, and, you know, that that's all she wrote for that first point, as we're coming up on Cassie High Noon and Nano, as Vibes gets the Lucio. Yeah, which is really interesting. They're, they keep losing these fights out, and they're gonna be AC Badger is gonna be pushing forward. And they're gonna be holding it out at this archway for the time being because they get all these picks. Now they're gonna be pushing forward. Is Whitewater Warhawks the Dragon Strike coming through, looking to get as much damage as they possibly can? The Anther, the Shatter coming out, not gonna find anyone. There comes the blizzard as well from Cardio Sky. The self destruct over the top, trying to find two, and they do indeed find two for the side of AC Badgers. As the rest of Warhawks are gonna have to push back and hold on. <laughs> Nasty icicle there from Cardio Sky onto Griffin on the Hanzo. Just you're just seeing the people step up, like. Dallas Owens now stepping up here. AC Badgers on the Diva. Last round it was Gabe. Just is on a team as the window and pop just time here. My goodness, vibes is just popping off right now on this Hanzo roll. As um we do continue to go forward as um. Right now, uh, they're not really doing anything. They keep, Whitewater keeps holding on. Nothing is really doing at this moment for these teams. Uh, here, it comes out. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Just gonna... Whitewater... 
comes the fight out yet again. The Dragon Shark does find out Javier as well as what is going on. That was Dallas still finding out Mada. Uh, mad as well. This is still looking good for the side of uh, AC Baggers holding out strong on this map. As, well, looking forward to this next fight. Griffin has this uh, na um, boost, but oh my goodness, Gabe with the UK Spider Strike is just going to shut down this fight yet again very early on and very very quickly is they're gonna be investing in the the graviton surge early on and that's not what you want to see if you are the side of whitewater warhawks is they're gonna continue going forward looking to do something but vibes continuing to push forward is the shadow coming out from gabe not gonna be able to what you want but still, the side of AC Badges is going to be able to keep holding on forward. <laughs> White Vibe's going to be taking out someone. Uh, sorry, Griffin with another headshot. Yeah, Vibes is doing an incredible job at checking flankers, getting picks. Vibes is in Hanzo's. We saw him do a great job on the Junkrat last round. He's now showing out here on Hanzo. Comes the blizzard out as a nice dragon shed coming out from Vibes. Gonna find two as well. Gabe gonna get one with a pin, and there goes the team kill gong being sounded as the side of AC Badgers continue to hold strong. <clears throat> yeah, and they're doing a good job with their ult economy. They're already back up to almost another window, and they have Diva Bomb and um, Beat Drop here to, for defensively. Uh, and then Warhawk. They're only looking at battering um, dragons right now, so uh, looking real good for AC Badgers. But Insanity gonna be opting to use that shatter early on. Not gonna find anything, is it? This game finds a shatter as well, connecting on the two of their own. As a side of AC Badgers continue to push forward, continue to hold this defense at this corner. And they're looking so good while they're doing it. Vibes has just been popping off so much right now, Ray. Yeah, Vibes is doing it. Incredible job. Not only is you know spy checking and doing everything he needs to do, he's also doing a good job of helping with the shield break to help Gabe uh, help Gabe just get these massive shatters in these fights. Well, Cartier Sky starting things <laughs> off yet again, taking out Griffin. That massive damage is gone. Javier looking to get something doing. They need, but they did the. the, the... The Riptire is destroyed. The Blizzard coming out as well. Gonna be huge as well. Taking out both supports is Cartier Sky with a three piece. And that is going to be the attacking phase of Whitewater Warhawks down the drain. As AC Badgers looking stronger and stronger throughout this series. Yeah. Um, pushing forward. Badgers is uh, killing right now on the the badgers is killing it uh, between vibes on the hanzo and just keep getting massive dallaming with some even right at the end cardier sky popped with his blizzard the white individually we even saw the, the, from mag the to get destroy the blizzard for gabe they're doing good I don't know what's going on with my co-caster here. Not, internet might be going out and about, but we're going to be starting off yet again. AC Badgers now going to be on the attack. Not going to be switching anything up here, but the side of the Warhawks JV team, they're going to be swapping on to Griffin on this May, and we're going to be seeing Javier opting for soldier 76 here should it be interesting definitely javier gonna be looking for more of a um a flank roll especially on the legs we'll see how they work out hostile also on this honor which should be an interesting play not what you normally see with baptiste just being so prevalent in this game right now but we'll see how it works off 
see if it, um, especially with going in into the nano boost of uh, Twin Sanity, most likely, or mad on the Zarya. Let's get an AC Baggers. Already starting things off as five. Oh. Getting a nice headshot onto Javier is going to be huge. That is going to open things up for this side. It's Cardio Sky with another Ooh. pick as well. As this is just going to be everything they need for AC Badgers. Yeah, the incredible double sniper composition here. Both the Widow and the Hondo got two picks each. They're just incredible. Just pick potential between Cartier Sky and Vibes here is insane. Yeah, they're going to continue to push forward here. Gabe already having the shadow going to connect with a massive shadow. Four people going down, and that's going to be all she wrote with that fight. It's just Griffin left. I don't think anyone's going to be able to touch you, Ray, as AC Badges look to close this map out. No one's going to be able to touch on to this point. There it is. AC Badges up 2-0 in the series. Yeah. I mean, incredible clinic put on by the Badgers. Their tanks just put pressure on the front line while their Hanzo and Widow is just able to sit in the back line and pick them off as they're trying to have to work on Ryan in their face. And the snipers doing exactly what they needed to do, get the picks. So the they're just lowering the C4 that they're taking to have snipers in the back line. Yeah, uh, they're looking really strong. AC Badgers are looking unbeatable at this moment. Especially vibes on whatever they're playing. They keep popping off. But we're going to head to a short little intermission. Try to fix our things. And uh, take a little intermission before we go into map three. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss the more GG League's Elite Overwatch. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.
Yeah, I can't Joker. Okay, now that we're back live, hello everyone, we're going back into the GG League's Elite Overwatch Division. This is going to be still the matchup between the uh, the sides of UW Winter, or Whitewater Warhawks, JV, and AC Badgers. We're still looking at AC Badgers, looking very strong, especially vibes on that Flex DPS roll. And we're heading into map three here, right? It's um, it's looking really good for the side of um, AC Badgers as we head into Temple of Anubis. Yeah, outside of Mark, AC Badgers have been extremely dominant. They've shown no mercy. Their dive composition on Gardens was crazy. They really fixed up their ball on control center. They just dominated, uh, they just dominated Kingdra with vibes in the Han. So, part of your sky, between the Widow and the A, and great synergy between Magia and um, Gabe, Ryan and Baptiste. They've been, been shot today. Yeah, and we'll see how this continues. I love the old school tile of defense coming um, usually from these defensive squads that that uh, went uh, the widow either widow or Ash and Junkrat defense, and I'm thinking that's what we're probably going to be seeing out from these two squads. We've seen a lot of Junkrat from both of these teams, but we haven't seen really a sniper. Con we have seen sniper. We've seen um, Widowmaker coming out. From specifically of uh, uh, Cartier Sky on the side of AC Badgers, and um, hopefully that continues. I love some good Widowmaker play. Love maybe some Ash as well. I, I particularly like Ash better than Widowmaker on Temple of Anubis, especially especially uh, especially before this first point of the map because of those small sight lines. Yeah, um, you want know, a new bitch. I do think it's gonna either be you know where you're playing a Pharaoh with ball demon trying to knock them off ball on that high ground defense that you're trying to knock them off of with a ball rollout, or you're gonna just brawl it out. And, I mean, from what we've seen from these two teams, it's probably a big brawl out here. Uh, would not surprise me, like you said, if Cardi or Sky or Vibes, if one's playing the Widow or one's playing Haunt, so you know whatever they just go with. And honestly, we're not fighting if we see the X. Coming in, they had a uh, white water had a really good echo. Uh, echo and Pharaoh were really well on this map. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that, I think that's in general what we're going to be in store for a new business we're heading in here shortly. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see if this continues to go in the favor of AC Badgers. It's going to continue to be on this defense. Right now, we're seeing what I was thinking. The double shield coming out, but oh, we don't know for match. the moment because, well, that was a little bit of a teaser. You're right. Yeah, I mean, it was. We got 20 seconds, but yeah, defensively, double shield is ten, tends to be, you know, what the meta is, you know, Orisa, Sigma, they spam down the trick with a Junkrat or a Hanzo, for example. And then you play like a Ash Widow Stolger type scan who hangs in the back. And you just pair that with Bat in a window and possibly a Mercy Pocket for the hidden Zen. You're all set on defense. Oh, yeah. oh, looks like they're elected to go with Zen, the Discord Orb. Zen. Powerful, so no surprise here. And on the side of Whitewater, um, I don't know if they're gonna play Winston Sig. Winston, I think they kill Winston, but maybe that Sig becomes a Diva or a Zarya or something like that. And Griffin comes out with Echo, no surprise here. And they're like to go with the Mercy style play, so they're looking to Nano that Winston and as any picks that Badgers can get on them. See, I feel like this is a Diva two maps too late here, Ray. They uh, should have 
probably have been running a diva earlier on to really counter with what ac badges is running we'll see if that makes any difference but it's not looking good right now ac badges are on match point and uh, looking to continue this dominance that we've seen so far throughout this series yeah um into the theater. Frederick's gonna he head back as we see Cartier Sky looking for some window shots as she gets Winston. Winston going down early on as a well as Pallid going down to a nice body Ooh. shot from Cartier Sky as well they're gonna have to hold on for the mo time being. Yeah, I mean already seeing part of this composition you got vibes chilling here on the junk rat showed how good he was control center and he's cartier's guy hanging out in the back just doing little things getting dicks making names just a total team effort from map to map from badgers it's been incredible to watch yeah and they're gonna try to inv uh, invest this but the uh, twin is already down and out it's gonna be so hard for the side of whitewater because the well, they're, they're, well, the winston's gone that's their main tank that's their source of uh, that's where they're supposed to build this composition around them. they're down early on and well they can't really do anything without them it's incredible. Magia, as soon as Winston just to come dive on them, throwing Discord on them, and that's just total, like, team focus fire onto that Winston. He can't even land down. He's just dead. It's it's crazy, and they're already swapping their competition. They're going to a Ryan Zarya brawl with Echo and Echo. Well, Looks like uh, Frederick's going to play Echo. Well, hopefully this does change something out because it's down to two minutes but frederick's already out of this fight thanks to caesar getting those shots on the rest has been burned but cardio sky's taken out his con uh, his, his his nemesis of the uh, the other Widowmaker and cardio sky taking out the rest echo as well it's not looking good for ac badges right now as vibes takes out power to finish things off as they're gonna have to regroup yet again yeah, I was going to say that's a total Widow diff there from Cardio Sky, but he takes out the Echo too. He's just going to be wanting the DPS at this point. He's incredible from this Widow here on Cardio Sky. Yeah, this is not been the best attack as Vibes yet again. Taking out Pallet. Here comes the Rip Tire. Taking out Hostile Cardio Sky as well. Going to find two in this fight. And there goes Twin Sanity as well as AC Badgers continue to hold on very strong. It's it's incredible here that they're just allowing vibes to sit up here on Junkrat. They're not sending an echo at him to try and scare him away. Just letting him sit up there and just rain down just massive amounts of damage as he gets the echo. Yeah, they got the Echo as well. They had the Diva. They could have been able to just focus them down immediately, but they haven't done anything. They're just going to continue to wait for this Echo to re get respawned. They need to focus down Vibes, and they need to focus him down immediately because there's just so much damage coming forward. Just Vibes takes down Pallet yet again. There goes the Mercy. The, the Gravitic Flux coming out from Hostile is there. Or sorry, from Gabe is there taking out Hostile. Style. The Shatter does connect to a couple, does take down Magia, but it's not going to be enough. It's down to 15 seconds as AC Badgers continue to look so very strong. It's going to be very difficult for them to touch you, right? Yeah, I mean, and you have the sight, so there's no hiding from them. They're going to know exactly where they are. Is the Reaper going to try and fade to point and do nothing? It's just going to come down to can the ball and tracer stall and get picks while the others come back and it doesn't look like it yeah not good at all as vibes and cardier sky just continue to dominate the side of whitewater warhawks jv and all they need now ray is 33 percent on the board to win this series and finish things up for the first match of the sea uh, the winter season of the gg leagues yeah, I mean, Badgers just come out and just show they're here and they're just 2 0 already. And all they need is they have their win condition, like you said, 30% on this first point, And I don't have any, they're going to get it. They've just been dominating this entire time. 
mean, you know, just nice job. That's just incredible. Yeah, they're just putting on a clinic right now. And, well, we're seeing it from the composition that they've locked so far. Cartier Sky on the Genji. Not something you'd normally see, especially with Magia on this Moira. I think they've, they're very confident at this moment here, Ray, and they think they can do really well they feel like at the moment yeah i mean i, I mean i don't you know with your winston dying and it happened like a genji going with he can deflect and a diva can help eat and they can all just put some people together and just that they're really going for burst healing they just want to fight with so where lucio i mean i, I don't know i mean is it no but i think they can make it work well, Madia or Mad has started things off, taking out Vibes, but it's going to be traded out immediately. Cardio Sky yet again, finding a pick, and that is looking good for the side of AC Badgers. Well, everything now blue in this kill feed is just the last person alive as AC Badgers immediately take the point and take the series in a quick 3-0 fashion. I mean, I it, that was insane work from them. They, you know, struggled a little bit on Night Market. I think they just needed a map to really get themselves going. But ever since Night Market, they have just been dominant. And they looked back since they dropped that sub map. Yeah, uh, they are. They looked very, very, very strong going forward. And um, they they look like one of the teams to beat in the series to uh, or sorry in the league tonight as um you know as it's um yeah uh, they just they just looked uh, unbeatable. Yeah, congratulations to you know the Badgers and Emerald College on your first season victory here. Uh, look forward to some great matches in the future, you guys and. You know, speaking from Whitewater, you know, it's the first game. You know, you just got to shake off the rust and you can come back strong. It's just the first game. Yeah, and, and it's not to say they didn't have, they didn't, they had some not, they weren't that bad at all. Uh, Twin Sanity was very good on that main tank role for the side of Whitewater. They just need to be able to uh, play more around that main tank, I feel like, because uh they they did they did very good things uh right uh they they were they were together they they hit big shatters especially when they were on that reinhardt roll uh i think if they clean some things up they could be a very good team to go forward oh yeah definitely um they just needed um i think the problem is a lot of the time they're running zarya into diva and yeah. you know as sad as it you know is zarya is just not the play in this meta diva just gives your team so much more utility and i think if they had a diva most of the time in some of these fights they might have given themselves a better chance as much as i love to play zarya uh, i've come to realize that zarya is not the place because diva especially like you were saying uh, has just so much more to give it can, especially with the, the boosters and the defensive matrix, just going to be able to uh, mitigate as much damage as possibly in a very uh, quick or uh, tight area with those boosters. And uh, it's, ve it's very difficult to uh, uh, find picks, especially with the D.Va being on the other side. And uh, it's... It's just a couple things Whitewater needs to fix up. And I think they can they have a chance in this uh, this league. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Like you said, I think, you know, they just need to probably work on their D.Va a little bit better, get the D.Va down and just suck his fire and there. It just felt like at some points, you know, they just weren't as coordinated as Badgers and Badgers were taking advantage of that. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the Badgers, before we hand, end things off, that DPS line of Cartier Sky and Vibes were just incredible. Finding pick after pick after pick pick being able to continue uh just focusing down these teams being able to do as much as they possibly can and um it was very it was really good from the side ac badgers don't really have to fix anything up for to go into these next couple of matches going forward maybe a little bit uh more together and 
not be uh, have to take off a sub map on a uh, control but other than that they're they're very good and i think they're right now uh, not knowing anything about the other teams they're the team to beat right now right Cardinal Sky and Vibes are quite key duos. I think you know the energy between Magia and their window fire strikes Q and Magia and the, uh, on Anubis was just just killer. So I, I think that, I think they have a real flexible team. We saw them play dive. We saw them play brawl. We saw them play double shield. I think a lot to offer for this league going forward. Yeah, definitely. Magi Magia was very, very uh, strong on that flex support role as well. Um, just an all-around good game from all the side of AC Badgers. And that's going to be about it. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We don't have really much more to show you. It's a very quick matchup for this evening. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out, I believe, uh, Super Smash Brothers is going on live right now on GG League's official too. Make sure to check that out if you're a big fan of uh, Super Smash Brothers, as I am. As, um, yeah. but, uh, so make sure to check that out. Thank you all for watching. It's been me, Joker's Ransom, and Two Try Hard Ray. Thank you all for watching. Peace out and have a wonderful evening. Hey guys, peace out.